Turning now to your community focus, Rhode Island's largest philanthropic effort, 401 Gives, is currently underway with its first ever weekend edition. Joining us now live in studio to talk about the fundraising effort and how you can participate is Lanre Ajakaye, the Chief Development Officer with United Way of Rhode Island. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much, Kayla, for having me. Of it's course. a pleasure to be here. Of course. And so let's start by giving a little background about this effort that's really grown over the last few years. Sure. So 401 Gives, uh, powered by the United Way of Rhode Island, you know, if I liken it to something, it's like the Super Bowl of philanthropic giving uh, within the state of Rhode Island for nonprofits. It's an amazing day, started in 2020. So in that course of time, it's raised over $7 million uh, for nonprofits to keep them strong, resilient, so that they can keep delivering the services that, that fuel Rhode Island. And a lot of people don't know, with it, we have a weekend edition, which we'll talk more about, but the United Way of Rhode Island is proud to sponsor this. You know, earlier today, we celebrated at 1143, uh, 1143 passing a million dollars with presenting sponsors, Papito Opportunity Connection, Cox Communications. So it's really a great day of excitement and hands down, it's the largest day of giving throughout the state of Rhode Island. And this is held every year on April 1st, yes. 401. But as you mentioned, 401 falls on a weekend this yes. year. So you've sort of expanded the event. Oh, we've more than sort of expanded it. Uh, we've definitely expanded it. And it starts today, Friday, uh, with uh, Audrey's Coffee House and Lounge. So in South Kingstown with Jared and Ashley of Bachelor Nation. So people can go and see that at six o'clock. Then it morphs into tomorrow, Saturday, and at Waterfire. So that starts at seven o'clock. And at the Waterfire, there's gonna be a procession of nonprofits that are involved in 401 Gives, which is amazing. There's gonna be a lighting sponsored by Rhode Island Energy. Thank you, Rhode Island Energy. Mm -hmm. And it's just a whole weekend of events. So people can actually donate all the way through the third at 6 p.m. So we've expanded it to a weekend because just one day, we saw it was Saturday, but we need more days to, to help our nonprofits and to keep them strong. And as of this second that I'm talking mm -hmm. to you, we're actually over half of what we did last year. So at 1.5, more organizations are part of it, I think roughly 510 right now. Mm -hmm. So we're at a good pace and we're just loving and excited by the fact that we can support more nonprofits and make them strong. And you mentioned that 510 number, that's a milestone for you guys. For Certainly the a milestone. We yeah. are excited by that milestone because roughly 150 new nonprofits came aboard this year. So some great nonprofits like the Jasmine Mason Foundation, which, you know, Jasmine Mason is an Olympian. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's amazing. So the Newport Children's Theater came aboard as well. Winner Circle, that programs like augmented reality, virtual reality for youth, uh, you know, Esperanza Hope, Lights and Sirens for Firefighters. There are so many great organizations to support, and you can do it easily on 401gives.org. For as little as $5, you can support 10 organizations, the platform is easy to use, and there are prizes and matching that are on the platform that people can take advantage of within it. We made it fun and festive. This isn't something boring to give, mm -hmm. but anybody for as little as $5 can help make an impact in the state of Rhode Island for nonprofits, again, that fuel critical services that people need every single day. It's awesome to see how this event has grown over the years. We also sure. have all of the information for donations and uh, more details about the nonprofits right now on our website, WPRI.com. Lanre Ajakaye with United Way, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it.